Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes and this is the Frugal Life with Mercedes. Today I'm going to be showing you my coupon stockpile. I started couponing in October of 2020. I used to coupon about eight or nine years before that and um, I just had taken a break. The stockpile I'm about to show you is at my brother's townhouse in their basement. They've been so gracious to um, allow me to put my stuff down there. And the stockpile is for the entire family. If you guys are new to my channel or maybe just stumbled across this video, I have seven brothers and sisters. I have um, a brother-in-law, a niece and a nephew. Uh, my other sister has a boyfriend and um, yeah, and everybody uses the stockpile at their leisure. And so it's for the entire family. And something else, I also sell part of my stockpile. So I'm not going to have as much laundry detergent as some people might expect, but between the large family and the only couponing since October and the selling, it's some of the items are not as extensive as you would expect, but I'm very happy with what I have amassed so far. Okay, guys, so this is part of the stockpile. We are going to start over here. This white shelf, I actually got at a yard sale for 10 bucks a couple of years ago, and I used it as a bookshelf, and now it holds some of my stockpile. So these shaving creams, I'm not going to go over all the prices that I paid for things, but um, these I paid 50 cents for because they're normally a, um, they were a dollar on clearance, and then at a clearance event, I got 50% off of that. Here is some of my toothpaste. Then down here is my hair dye. I like to dye my hair quite a bit. I do it at home. I have for many years. And um, I got some of this stuff for free. Some of it was money makers. Some of it extremely cheap. Um, and I like to mix up my hair colors. So there's a bunch of different colors in there. Then we have some vitamins. I got those for free. And then down here is stuff that I got to make my homemade laundry detergent. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Um, now the baking soda and the um, OxyClean back there, I did not get couponing, but I did get them at the Dollar Tree. But these bars of soap, I did get couponing. And I'm going to be making a collaboration video for the laundry detergent, so that's why I haven't um, put it out yet or made it. Then up here is some of the toilet paper. Um, my mom has a little bit of a stockpile of toilet paper, again, with so many of us, and we are spread between three houses. My sister and her husband have a townhouse, my brothers have a townhouse, and then my parents have a house. So my mom has some toilet paper at her house, but this is some stuff that I have gotten. Then here are the laundry pods. Now, before the laundry pods covered this entire shelf, but my brothers are bachelors and the laundry pods are what they like to use. So this is what we have of that. Then this is just a basket that I had gotten and I put plastic bags in it. So if people come here and want to take stuff from the stockpile, they can. And here we have some um, plugs. It's a, it's a huge box with some plugs in it. Then here is the fabric softener. As you guys know, I don't use fabric softener. My mom doesn't use fabric softener. But if I get it extremely cheap, I pick it up and I sell it in bundles. Then over here, we've got lots of makeup, most of which I got for free or was money makers or extremely cheap. And then lots of trial size shampoos and all that kind of stuff. And the church does a lot of mission work, um, both in the United States and out of the United States. So when that time comes around, I'm going to be donating probably all of the travel size stuff because I got it for free or extremely cheap. You know, lots of pantines. I made money on those hairsprays, so you can't beat that. Then... Oh, and one more thing. This silver shelf, I used to have two of them, but um, one of them pieces got missing um, during one of my moves. This was a long time ago. So somebody bought me these two shelves, and this one I still have. Um, I've probably had this shelf for almost 10 years. I've got some Purex laundry detergent, 
and I've got some gain. I don't have a lot of gain simply because I have people that message me um, specifically to buy my gain. So as soon as I get it, it's basically out, out the door. Then this is all my yellow tide. As you can see, that goes back pretty far. Got a really awesome deal on that. The little tide's good deal. And then the all detergent, I think I did have 15 of those and I sold the rest of them. Um, I think last weekend or the weekend before, and I somehow ended up with just one um, left. I'm not really sure how that happened, but anyway. Then over here, here are all the razors. And um, a lot of these were really cheap. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry guys, I got, got a little something in my throat. So, um, these are the razors and again, the whole family is using from them. So the fact that we have so many still is crazy. Then in here is toothbrushes and floss picks. We got lots of toothbrushes. We got lots of tissues. Now these tissues came from Walmart and Dollar Tree and I had, I think I got them, they're usually like a dollar a box, and I think I paid 50 cents a box. So I was pretty happy with that. Then here are my Airwicks. Again, Airwicks sell really, really well, so I don't hold on to those for too long. The candles were a clearance thing. Oh, and then back there is just um, like a fancy hand soap and a um, small fabric softener. We've got some more plugs, the Febreze and the Airwick. And then we've got some car plugs and some um, Glade solids that I got a really great deal on. Then over here, we got two more shelves. Now these grayish shelves I got on a selling, a local selling app. And I got an awesome deal on all the gray shelves. So here is some more toothpaste. I'm eventually going to move all the toothpaste to one spot. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. And then this stuff is just stuff that doesn't really have a place. Like these I did pay full price for, but they were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they're just fancy soaps. And I make people gift baskets with my stockpile items. So I thought that I would get these fancy soaps. And we got some melts. Then down here we've got um, some deodorant and sunblock and then down here we've got shaving cream and nail polish remover and um saline solution for my contacts now the saline solution i did pay full price for but that's just because i can never find good deals on it um and then i've got my face wash we've got some cleaning products we've got some hand soap some more cleaning products and actually this was all full and spilling out over here and um, a couple of weeks ago I sold a bunch of the cleaning products that we just don't use um, to make space for some new stuff. Then up here we've got some lotion. Um, this too was completely full and overflowing and then I sold a big bundle of laundry of um, hand lotion. So I'm going to try to sell some more of that. Then this is body wash and hair care. So I've got like gels and leave-in conditioners, lady body washes, man body washes. As you can see, I only have one man body wash left. My brothers are pretty hard on, laundry, on uh, body wash. So I need to get some more of that. And another good thing about the stockpile is then you can see like, hey, I really don't need any more of this. But when the deals come out for something else, I can get it. This is conditioner. I've got all sorts of different kinds of conditioner. Um, as you can see, some of them were on clearance and then I had a special buy and um, some of those swabs, I think I paid a penny for a while back. And then these are all the shampoos and I try to get coordinating ones um, with the shampoo and the conditioner, but sometimes like I think this item I, I think it was 50% off of that and I had a coupon for that. And so this one does not have a mate, but it's not the end of the world. Just use it with something else. But lots of shampoos and conditioners. Over here is a shelf. Um, 
I believe my mother got this um, dumpster diving. My mother is not really a dumpster diver, but um, it was trash day and someone had this out by their trash. So she picked it up. That's where I learned my dumpster diving skills from. And it's a pretty cool shelf because they all three shelves just lift off and then fold down. So here is some dish soap that I got. I got 50% off of that. And then I think I had a store coupon. These are the Palm Olive um, dishwashing tabs. Really great deal on those. Then the Palm Olive dish spray. We've got some mouthwash that I got a really great deal on. And then down here is some more dish soap. Lots and lots of gain. Really, really great deal on that. Okay, guys, you are not going to be able to see in here all that well, but this is a storage room where we keep the other two shelves, so I am sorry about that. But here is my splash water. Sorry, the door. This is my splash water that I got from Walmart. Really great deal. And then I have cake mixes and um, sauces, all my drink packets and my tea. I've got lasagna noodles and lots of crackers and um, Powerade. And then over here, we've got some more snack stuff, lots of chips. And those two shelves are cereal. Again, you can't really see everything um, between the camera and the bad lighting in here. But this is a back storage room and my shelves fit pretty good down here. Okay guys, so that was my stockpile tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, I get a lot of questions about the stockpile and people wanting to see it. And um, you know, the shelves that I use are ones that I had on hand and then the gray ones I got secondhand for very cheap um, from a secondhand site. And it's a working stockpile. So we just don't keep that stuff there just to keep it. Um, it's things that we are constantly using and, um, you know, rotating things out. And it's been a big blessing to me and to my family. And I really have enjoyed um, making the stockpile and um, keeping it organized. And I like to go and look at it and put new things in and take things out. Um, and I you know, it's really great and I'm really proud of it. So please consider subscribing to my channel. If you did not know, I have an Instagram, The Frugal Life for Mercedes. And until next time, guys, bye.